were two women that were elected to the House of Representatives at the same time that Jeanette Rankin was elected. And you know, her really splashy election kind of eclipsed these other two. But I think the other two are, are really important for people to know about. Emma Ingalls was a Republican from Flathead County, and she really was quite an advocate for civic reform. She and her husband founded the Daily Interlake, which is the newspaper that is still Kalispell's daily newspaper. Her husband was disabled, so she took on the responsibility of running her homestead. She studied agriculture and irrigation and was the first person to irrigate the uh, Flathead Valley. When she was elected, one of the first two women to the Montana House uh, and took her seat in 1917, um, she really was very honored to be able to present um, to the Montana House for ratification the National Suffrage Amendment. She also sponsored the bill that created uh, the Montana Vocational School for Girls at Mountain View. And that was a really important step in the treatment of delinquent youth because before that, girls and boys were not separated and they were both sent to Pine Hills. After she had served her two terms in the house, she was the first woman to work with the Bureau of Animal and Child Protection and she chaired the Northwest Division under uh, Governor Dixon. So she really did some very important things, you know, advocated for the disenfranchised, and I think we should really remember her for that. Maggie Hathaway also was a very interesting person. She was married for only six months when she was widowed, and so she moved down to her family homestead to the ranch in Ravalli County, and she was a Democrat elected from that county. She believed very strongly in women's rights. She uh, campaigned for women's suffrage, but she also um, ran what was called a manless ranch because she believed that women should shoulder the responsibility of men when 10% of the male population here in Montana was serving during World War I. She hitched her horses to her own plow. She plowed furrows as straight as any man could. She uh, picked apples as well as picked ballots, you know, and all the time that she was campaigning, she was running this, this ranch that only employed women. So I think that's really interesting. And when she took her seat in 1917 in the House, she was the person who, who made the speech that won the eight-hour workday for women. She worked very, very hard to create the uh, Division of Child Welfare, and she also was very outspoken. Her fellow House representatives called her Mrs. Has Her Way because she had this very persuasive way of speaking. And uh, one, of her, one of her fellow House representatives said that she was the biggest man in the House at the time. And she did serve three terms. And so, you know, both of those women really are very important to Montana. They laid a very important foundation uh, for the disenfranchised here.